What's up guys, Chris Olson here. The Yulong V2M is a pretty awesome cube for $8. It's really cool to see magnetic budget cubes becoming more widely available. While the cube is nice for 8 I do think I prefer the Kylin. The Yulong V2M occasionally gets some really bizarre lockups that make it difficult for aggressive turners to solve quickly. The Kylin handles aggressive turning much better in my opinion. With that being said, I think this cube would be great for someone to try if they have never tried a magnetic speed cube or if they wanted to get a friend a magnetic speed cube for cheap. But in my opinion, that's all it should be used for. Hey everyone, this is Phil. The new Yulong V2M is amazing for its price. It's highly functional magnetic and just $7.99. If I had to criticize, I would say that the cube has a slight locking and instability issue, a little like the MGC V2 but less severe. But then I remember I'm criticizing a cube that costs less than my lunch sometimes. I don't think this cube will replace any advanced cuber's mains, but it's absolutely magnificent for $7.99. I consider this cube a great success and I highly recommend it. What's up guys, Damien here. The Yulong V2M is easily the best value puzzle currently on the market in my opinion. The only faults I've found with this cube are some infrequent corner twisting and some very small lockups. But honestly, performance is comparable with puzzles that cost much more. I would put this ahead of puzzles like the Kylan V2M, the Mr. M, and even the MGC V1 and 2. It isn't as good as flagships, but just below them as $7.99 isn't bad. Hey everybody, Maddie here. My initial thoughts on the YJ Yulong V2M is that it is a fantastic cube for its price. Out of the box, it is a little too fast and uncontrollable, but once set up, this cube performs very well and slows down to my liking. It has a very smooth but crunchy feel. It corner cuts with ease at any angle. For reverse corner cutting, the cube will just cut in the opposite direction. This is one of the best corner cutting cubes that I've tried. The magnets are of medium strength and can be felt when turning the cube slowly, but don't affect the solve. I've gotten much better times on this cube than my main after solving it a bunch of times. If you are looking for a budget cube that performs at the level of other flagship puzzles, the YJ Yulong V2M is the way to go. Hey, this is Jules. I'm a bit taken aback by the Yulong V2M since I wasn't really expecting anything. However, it is quite pleasant to use, and with its light weight, I don't see myself getting tired of solving on it over a long period of time. Its magnet strength isn't that strong, which isn't really a negative thing about the cube, it's just something I personally don't like. On top of that, it's not really a good fit with my aggressive turning, and I found myself having a hard time doing actual solves. If I had more time with the cube, I'm sure I'd adjust to it no problem. Still, that being said, it's an amazing entry-level cube and it's definitely worth checking out. Hey guys, this is Ro. I really enjoy the turning on the Yulong V2M. It's very smooth and fast, and the magnet strength matches the cube perfectly. I was actually shocked when I learned that this was a budget cube because it turns extremely well compared to other 3x3s in its price range. If I had to compare it to another cube, I would say it feels like a very improved version of the Yeshao Pro. Though I enjoy the puzzle, I wouldn't say it's better than any of the current top 3x3s on the market, but it's definitely one of the best magnetic 3x3s for its price range. Hey everybody, Mike here. So the YJ Yulong V2M is a fairly decent cube for its price point at $7.99, however I don't think that this could be a contender for many people's mains. It is a very enjoyable cube to pick up and do a couple of solves on it, but soon after you will notice its shortcomings. This cube is a little bit difficult to set up, and I find that it either becomes too fast or too gummy, resulting in an unpleasurable solving experience. In addition, it has a huge problem with corner twistings. Out of all of the solves that I did, I got corner twists on about 5 of my solves in a 20 minute time period, more or less. For $8 you can't get much better, and for certain people this would be a good puzzle for them. However, at a higher level I don't think that this could be very viable. But if you're picking it up and doing 10 solves, or just want a cube to throw in a backpack and solve every now and again, it's fine for that. Hey everyone, this is Chris Tran from The Cubicle. So. The YJ Yulong V2M is a pretty good cube at its price point. The unique thing about it is it has friction grooves on all of its surfaces. Usually most cubes only have this on two sides of the edges, sometimes at corners, but usually not all of them. This gives it a really nice feeling at first, but if you're looking for a main, this might not fulfill your requirements. There's a lot of corner twisting and weird catching, and I couldn't get it set up to how I like it. But all in all, this is a pretty good cube, especially for a magnetic cube at this price point.